Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're up here in Rochester Hills this morning. And we've got your A team here getting all set up. Here's Derek hiding, Brian in the hole. They're getting all the uh, tools and everything ready to do a pondless waterfall. This is a nice site because we've got a hillside to contend with. We love working with hillsides. This hillside's got a little bit of a challenge and it's got a little bit of a backstory as well. So, let me uh, turn the camera around and I will show you what we've got. So, existing hillside here. They've got a retaining wall made out of granite boulders. So, this is a very religious family. In fact, their daughter is actually a nun. They want to give their daughter a place when she comes home to visit, a place to pray. So we're going to create a pondless waterfall that starts up at the top, the crest of this hill, twists, turns, jumps over this retaining wall, obviously we'll have some liner behind it, and goes down into a hidden basin. At the top, the homeowners have ordered a statue of the Virgin Mary with a grotto. So we have yet to see that, but that's not going to hold us back from getting this started. So right up here, where this orange line is here, That'll be the start of our pondless waterfall. We'll excavate all this out. Obviously, we'll get the gravel out of the way. It'll twist this way, and then it'll come down this way. We'll take this boulder wall apart for what needs to be right now. We'll get our liner in. We'll get our underlayment and our aqua blocks and vault. We'll get those in, and then the fun starts with creating our, a masterpiece and our A-team actually making magic out here. So, it's a balmy 34 degrees out this morning, high of 45, and this is where things start getting challenging. So let me go up on top here, and as you can see, there's traffic going by. So we got a lot of road noise back here. This water feature is not intended to cut out that, that road noise. This is a place of solitude for the homeowners and for the homeowner's daughter when she comes to visit. So stay tuned and let's make some magic. Making the aqua block, making the aqua block. What are you doing? Making the aqua block, making the aqua block. Time to make the aqua block. Hey, good morning, boys and girls. This is how we make an aqua block.
Hello, all. this is Brian with Butch Ponds and Gardens uh, here in Rochester, Michigan. Uh, end of day number one um, on this pondless install. Um, just want to give you an update, show you what we accomplished today. Turn you around. So we got the basin dug, got pump vault with an extension, aqua blocks here. Um, liner underlayment in going up way up there stream will be ca carved out tomorrow a nice drop here this wall will continue through here um, they've dropped there drop there drop way up there there's like a uh, 10 foot eleva ele elevation change here so you got a lot of uh, room to really play with um, as far as waterfalls go so should be cool um, stay tuned and we will get back with you tomorrow okay so the basins in we've got five aqua blocks we've got a bolt with a bolt extension so it's extra deep and right now what we've done is so we've moved the last drop forward so that way we get less splash going down into our basin right now we're carving out the streams so we can have some fun with that. Derek's got the piping run up on top. We've got the spillway box that the water's gonna come out of. That helps us control the water flow. And we know where the water is gonna come out. So we can set our boulders up against that. We're dealing right now with a lot of high winds. The wind temperature right now is about 34 degrees. We've got light flurries on the ground. So that's your weather report for Michigan and we're gonna get back to work. Just joking. Uh, <laughs> so we're down a man right now because Brian, his wife is expecting a baby any day now, and he just got a call that he's got a he had to boogie down to the hospital. So we're hoping everything goes great with him for that. We'll post some news later. Derek and I are gonna run up. We're gonna grab some boulders. From there, we're gonna start rocking this in. Obviously, we'll get we'll get the liner in. We'll get the underlayment in everything else connected and then we'll start playing around with some boulders. All right, we're back out on a job and it's about 27 degrees out today. So we got a little change of plans because Brian and his wife Megan had their baby this morning at 6.15. So welcome to the world, Leo Anthony Lagak. Happy birthday. We're really happy for him and excited because we've got another generation of pond builders coming along. So anyway, let's get back to this job. Congratulations, Brian and Megan. We wish you a lifetime of family happiness and success. Let me turn the camera around, show you what we got done as of yesterday. So obviously the basin's already set. We've got our drops all set. It's been windy out here, so we we secured the liner just with a, call, a couple small boulders. We brought some boulders to the site, and Derek and I are gonna get started rocking this in. So watch this magic unfold right in front of your eyes.
So here's a pondless waterfall with a 3,000 gallon per hour pump that's on a hillside. We've got our hidden basin down here that houses our pump. Our vault is right over here. Several drops. We've got Aquascape 1 watt lights. This one down here will highlight one, two, three. We've got another one here. It's a 1 watt light right in here. It's going to hit that little peekaboo falls that sits back here. I love this, how this big rock just has a little thin layer of water and it's not a big sheet of water coming over it. We purposely set that up higher so we would get just the little trickles coming over. So that, for the most part, it's a wet rock, but we've got this little bit that comes over here, a little bit over here. I think it adds more nat natural look to it. We've got a, a fractured boulder up on top and we've got some, more coming over to the left, some coming over to the right, but the middle is just, it's a nice wet rock. I kind of like that look. So let us know in, your, in the comments below what you think about this project. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this project and we'll see you on the next one.